Mr. President, during my days as a shoe store owner, I would not have had the luxury to read a 121-page interim final rule and try to determine what I needed to do to keep my health insurance plan. And if my small business was one of the 80% of small businesses that the administration thinks will lose their current status, then I'd be pay, forced to pay for a lot more coverage. Now, one of the most disturbing aspects of this new rule is that it will actually make it harder for employers to make changes that could hold down the cost of their health care. Once this interim final rule becomes effective, which will be July 12th of this year, less than a month from now, large and small businesses will have few options for both keeping costs in check and maintaining their grandfathered status. If an employer does any one of the following things to manage their costs, they lose the health care they have. Now, in short, if employers do almost anything to help slow the growth of their insurance costs, they will lose the limited protections against the expensive new mandates in the bill. The simple truth is, because this new rule will drastically tie the hands of employers, few employers are expected to pursue grandfathered status. That means more than half of Americans who like what they have won't be able to keep it. As I said earlier, this is not a mistake. This is exactly what the President and the majority controlling Congress wanted. They want all Americans to be forced to buy the kind of health insurance they think you should have. Never mind that you can't afford it. Never mind that employers faced with the choice of either paying for health insurance or paying a new penalty will be less likely to hire new workers and will probably even lay off workers. Simply put, this rule states, Washington knows best. Never mind the President promised Americans who like what they have, they can keep it.